Uh, well, man, I have to say I got really lucky because I started in 1999 and I didn't have to learn the pitfalls of the free traffic myth. Um, specifically about the affiliates and joint venture stuff that you're always overhyped with, you know, because it, it really didn't exist back then, at least nobody that I knew. There was no real internet marketing quote unquote community back then. There were only a few people publishing anything and a lot of it was experiential and um, I had to advertise. And my first ad, I remember this, I was selling a product for $47 and um, it went straight to a sales letter and I bought my first ad on goto.com, which of course became, now I've already forgotten, I think it became Overture, which became Yahoo, which became Bing, but it was one of the first pay-per-click search engines, um, and it worked, and that immediately hooked me, because I spent, I think, five dollars to get a forty-seven dollar sale, and I was very excited about that, which was both good and bad. The good was I was able to turn advertising into profit. The bad was that it took me years before I really recognized that the first sale is the hardest to make and what I'd really gotten was a customer for five dollars and of course nowadays because we have funnels and because we know more and because we practice relationship marketing and really bond with our, our buyers and customers that initial purchase usually is worth infinitely more than the sum that they paid up front and um, I'm much happier to buy that customer for a small fraction of the initial value as opposed to paying some other party like an affiliate person or a joint venture partner that I would depend on half of my gross sales forever. It just doesn't make sense to me. Mistakes make? Sure, yeah. Um, so, all right, I think it's fairly safe to say with a pretty good degree of accuracy that I've got customers in every country and continent on the planet. Um, maybe there's some very obscure place, you know, in Eastern Europe or somewhere that I, where I don't have a customer. And I've also got coaching and consulting clients that I speak with regularly and that I help. And the mistake is universal and it's prevalent and it's everywhere, which is on one hand frustration and on the other hand something worth getting very, very excited about because it signals massive opportunity for folks who realize it and work around it, and here it is. Most people will do two critically devastating things to their business. Number one is that they falsely believe that advertising is an expense and that it's better to get free advertising. So here's the thing. Advertising should never, ever be an expense. Advertising should always be looked at as an investment, and you should never invest any significant amount of money into advertising until you have proven with a very small amount of money that for every dollar you put in, you'll get at least that dollar back, and preferably two, three, four dollars. So now the question becomes, okay, well that's sort of obvious, but how do you do that? And that leads us to really the big significant mistake that I can almost say everybody is doing, and that is they will send traffic to an incomplete or non-existent system. And I'll tell you what I mean by that, and I think I'll do it with a metaphor. Imagine going to the job interview without taking a shower or putting on decent clothes, right? Well, when you drive a traffic to your website, that's kind of like you going to that interview with that prospective customer. And if you don't have a complete sales funnel built, it's like showing up for that job interview with two nights parties worth of clothes on, you know, and no shower and your hair sticking up everywhere and you're reeking of vodka Red Bull. It's, depending on the job, it's probably not going to go over very well. So the way to turn traffic into money is there are really lots of ways, but the simplest way is to make sure that you have a complete system, a predictable system, that can systematically and predictably turn X percentage of visitors into initial sales and then X percentage of those initial sales into escalating sales and then X percentage of those escalating sales into repeat lifetime customers. And if you do that, it's over. You get all the traffic you want, you know, because traffic is like sand, really. 
the traffic itself, just like sand, is worthless, right? I mean, you take a, a, go to the beach and you get a bunch of sand and you just give it to someone and you say, you want to buy the sand? And they say no, because it's just sand, just like the traffic itself means nothing. It's what you make of it, right? So if we can take that sand and we can heat it and we can mold it, we can have something nice made out of glass, or we can build castles out of that because we make bricks out of the sand. It's the same way. You pour that raw material of traffic into a good system that's designed to turn it into profits consistently and predictable, predictably, then you've got an asset that can feed you for years and years and years, if not your lifetime. But yeah, the biggest mistake is not building that system, driving the traffic first to an incomplete system. It's like planting seeds into a parking lot. They're just not really going to take, you know. Is it hard to get traffic? Um, no, it's not. If you are on the up and up. So within the internet marketing community, which in the large part often is actually the business opportunity space. So if you are trying to send traffic to a page that's not compliant, that makes these outrageous hypey claims, that violates the clearly stated terms and services of advertising uh, platforms, then <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. But if you follow the rules, then no, dude, it's not hard. I mean, okay, we got, some of the largest companies in new media, you have Google and you have Facebook, and those are public companies, and the purpose of those companies is to deliver revenue and profits to their shareholders. Well, how do they do that? They sell advertising. So is someone going to logically say that it is difficult to buy advertising from some of the largest companies in the world whose sole function is to sell advertising? No, it's not. Seconds from now, well, seconds might be an exaggeration. I would bet you that if you wanted to send traffic to, say, a blog or something, not that that would be a good idea, but let's say you have a blog post that's genuinely beneficial to your reader and you wanted to send traffic to it, within the next 10 minutes, you could create an ad and be set up on a network to send traffic. You could publish that same stuff in a CPA network. Now, obviously, you'd have to have a, an offer attached to it for those publishers to want to do it, but no, it's not hard to get traffic at all. And of course, people, people ignore the existence of other media. You know, everyone's focused on joint ventures and email. They think that's the only thing that exists. And you have this, that tiny little microscopic camp of people who sell things on the internet. And then you have the rest of the world that just sort of laughs at them, right? It's, there, there's never the, the question of trying to get traffic. It's can you convert the traffic? That's the real art. Getting traffic is having a credit card. Do you have a credit card? Is there money on it? Um, can you type the little order form and fill that out on Facebook or Google or Bing or whatever? Then, yeah, you can buy traffic. So the biggest tip for buying traffic, um, that's, there's no pressure there, the biggest. Okay, there's two, all right? First of all, you have to understand not all traffic is created equal.